Hi, welcome to Netherton Tunnel. Uh, a fantastic tribute to the engineers of the past. It was built in uh, 1855, the 31st of December 1855, so the very last day the first sod was cut. Unfortunately, during its life, it's, it's suffered a bit. We've got some severe movement right in the middle of the tunnel. Now that's not the best place for our contractors to be able to get to. It takes 20 minutes just to walk in here. Imagine the contractor having to get working platforms in here, lights, compressors, drills, concrete, steelwork, you name it. Everything has to be transported in here. So this job here to reline the middle section of the tunnel here is costing about one and a half million pounds and has been done over an intense period of work uh, four months during the during this winter period here and it's great to be able to say we're looking after it and taking it forward into the next hundred years of its of its life so if you want to come with me and we'll have a look at what's going on inside okay uh, this is the uh, the last tunnel of the canal age finished in 1858 spectacular bit of engineering built by our ancestors and you can imagine people down here you know 150 years ago by candlelight constructing this tunnel laying 27 million bricks and shifting half a million tons of rock out of this space for us nowadays to enjoy but there's problems with the tunnel it's on the move if you look up to the crown here you will see that it's crushed a wee bit. We are worried that that movement will cause a collapse. So what we are doing at the moment is we are pinning the tunnel back, just giant steel pins back into the rock face and that will hold it in position. We will then put, as you can see behind you, a concrete cover on top of the brickwork which will seal that in place and seal all the anchors in place that you'll see at the side here. So now you've seen how difficult it is to restore Netherton Tunnel and you understand how difficult it was for our ancestors to build it but it must be something that's worth, worth preserving. So I'd urge everybody to come along, participate, be a part of the Trust, be a friend to the Trust and contribute to us so we can carry on with this great work of looking after what our ancestors have left us.